Welcome back. Let's talk about those color settings. I have an image here. This is the monorail from Germany and I'm just going to bridge right now. I'm going to double click to open it up. It is a JPEG. And when I open it up I have an embedded profile mismatch. What this is saying is hey in your image there's an sRGB embedded profile but your working space that you're using is Adobe RGB 1998. What do you want to do? Do you want to use the embedded profile, which is how the person intended it to be, and leave it that way? Or do you want to convert it over to your color space and work on the image from there? Now, I personally would recommend, Adobe recommends, use the embedded profile so they can click OK. You rarely are ever going to use discard the embedded profile, don't color management. Click OK, the image opens up. Now, you're working in Adobe RGB 1998, but the image is in sRGB. All right. Now you're probably saying, well, what if I would have chose Adobe RGB 1998? How would the picture have looked? Well, well, there's a way around that. You go to Edit, Assign Profile. This will open up the Assign Profile dialog here. It will tell you that the profile you have is this one right here. Now watch this red train here. Watch what happens when I choose Adobe RGB. Did you see it? And look at the building. Okay, let me click again a couple times so that you can see it. All right, so if I would have converted it to the Adobe RGB 1998 space, it would have saturated the colors more, and I think actually make it a little bit more contrasty if I'm right. Yeah, so is that what I wanted? I'm not sure, but at least with the assigned profile, I have the option of visually seeing what the difference is instead of just automatically converting it over. And what I love about this, um, you are not limited to just one. You can look through all of them. <laughs> So it's kind of crazy. So I'm going to click cancel. Now, let's say I was happy with the Adobe RGB 1998 and I enjoyed the saturation and it wasn't that big of a deal and, and I'm okay with um, reducing the contrast by using curves. I click cancel. Now, I assign the profile. I actually didn't convert the image data. I just assigned it. If I want to convert the actual uh, data in the image, I need to go over to edit, convert to profile. Now this is the this is the big one. This one's saying I'm now going to take you from the profile you were and put you in the profile that you're going to be. And I would put it in RGB 1998 and it's telling me this 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 and then I click okay. And now I'm in um the Adobe RGB 1998 space. Um this um image that was sRGB is now um embedded with the profile of my working color space. So I wanted you to see the difference between that. Another interesting thing that I've talked about before, but if you go to View, Proof Setup, and choose Working CMY and Proof Colors, you can press Control Y, and you can see the differences between colors. In this image, because we don't have that much uh, color saturation and things of that sort, we're not going to have that big of a deal. But it's so little that it's it, it's you can't even see it. And when you see it, it says CMYK here. Watch. Press Control Y. It says RGB. Okay, and then gamut warning, if you choose this, this is going to show you what's not going to be printable when you go to CMYK, just so you know. And I'm going to choose view gamut warning to hide that off. And there we have it. Next lesson, we're going to talk about reduced noise.